Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Eclecticrum. So today, um, I'm really excited because I picked up a roll of Sinistel's Red Rum film, um, which looks really cool. So, um, almost a bit like the background here. <laughs> Um, yeah, so super excited to shoot this today. Um, so this is Cinestill's Red Rum, and I have it in the 120 version. I did not see a version for 35, so I'm not sure if they sell it in 35, but they do have it in 120, and it was limited edition, so I'm not sure if it's only for Halloween. But um, yeah, super excited to shoot this and see what we can get. So I'm gonna put it in the Yashica Matte 124G, because um, that is the only medium format camera that I have at the moment. Um, so we're gonna put it in there. We get 12 shots. All right, so I've got my Yashica here. And um, if anyone's interested, I actually, the front um, cap broke. Um, and I was able to find a 3D printed replacement. Um, I think it was on Amazon or Etsy, but um, yeah. So if you ever lose the cap for this, uh, you can find a good replacement and it just just comes off like this and um, yeah I don't know if you can see that looks like it's made by a company called Forrester UK uh, okay but we're gonna keep that on just to keep it safe while loading so All right, so now we are ready to shoot our red run film. Do a variation, so I've only got 12 shots here, um, but I wanna do, it's really sunny right now and bright, so um, before the rain comes back, because <laughs> uh, we are in the UK, um, I wanna do um, one or two shots outside in the bright sunlight, see how it handles that, and then I'm gonna do the rest, sort of maybe a couple inside uh, with some lights, and then maybe a couple at night uh, to see how it how it how it does. So uh, yeah, here we go. Let's do. It. So, I love this film to start with. Um, I really love the color in this film and I think um, I would love to shoot it in 35 millimeter um, because only having 12 shots in the medium format is really scary. <laughs> and I only got like two shots that I really loved. Um, I think I definitely underexposed too much. Uh, I could have used one more stop of light, um, but then you're also getting into lower shutter speeds and I was shooting mostly handheld. I did shoot, actually I probably did shoot about half the roll on a tripod just because it was so dark, um, but that's the kind of look that I was going for. So it kind of worked out, but it also, yeah, I think it was, it was like one stop more underexposed than I would have liked. Um, so that was my first thought. I do, I do love like a couple of the images. I think that sort of made it worth it. <laughs> um, and the rest are sort of learning, you know, I can look at them and learn, okay, next time I'm going to over, you know, go one more stop. And that was my first thought. Maybe my only thought. <laughs> and I'd actually really love to see how this film does like with more street lights, like street photography at night. Um, I think it looks so good with like one light behind. 
um, and shining through. Uh, I think I, I really love that look. Um, and then I also love the look of um, shooting something like a subject that's in full sun. Uh, I didn't like the ones where I was shooting into the sun, into the clouds. I think that was kind of a bit gross to me. Um, but that, again, that's like personal preference. So everyone's going to have different preferences. So, um, but yeah, let me know what you think. So yeah, cool. All right. Bye.